a lot of SDS page samples to run. So a tip when you have a lot of samples is instead of preparing them in like individual Eppendorf tubes, what you can do is you can actually prepare them in PCR strips or a PCR plate if you have a lot. Um, then you can actually just like boil this, um, heat it up in your PCR machine or a thermal shaker block that has that can hold a PCR plate. Um, and then you can do your thing. So I typically keep just like a tube of the like 6x or 4x or whatever your SDS page buffer is. So this, um, you're going to be separating the proteins by size and this is going to help unfold the proteins. Um, and then the heat is necessary to help unfold the proteins so that this um, the SDS, the detergent in here, can kind of like slither in and keep things slippery, keep the protein soluble but unfolded. Um, so they can travel through the gel. Um, so you're gonna have to heat it up and you have to add this buffer first. And so in order to add the buffer, you can just like keep a tube of it, or you can, if you're using a plate, you can pipette it into one of the, like the last well of the plate or whatever, that's what I did. And then what you can do is you can actually just use a multi-channel pipette if you have one of those, um, super duper helpful. And then you can transfer from the tube or from the plate into your samples. Um, and this will save you a lot of time. And then you don't also have all those different Eppendorfs. Um, so savings on all the fronts, and then you have things like ordered in a nice order. You don't have to worry about these tubes everywhere. So this can be really, really helpful um, and a time-saving tool. Unfortunately, it doesn't then do the actual loading for you and you can't like use the multi-channel to load the gel so I'm still gonna have to load like four gels worth of samples but at least I save some time on the preparing them. Another the thing is you can prepare them ahead of time so if it took you a really long time to get all the samples that you want to run on your gel you might be too exhausted to actually run your gel or you might just not have time. Um, so what you can do is you can actually store samples that you've prepared um, just like in the minus 20 um, so just prepare them ahead of time with the SDS and everything um, and then just keep them in the freezer. You don't want to just like keep your sample fresh over for the days or whatever because then it can start degrading. So if you just um, prepare the samples, put it in the freezer, and then like maybe you take your actual real sample and you store it in minus 20 um, without anything added, like your original that you took an aliquot of for this. Um, and then you can see this and then you can go back and get your protein that you've had nicely saved in the minus 80. Um, and your samples have been saved in your minus 20 or whatever, um, and good to go. So, hope that helps. Just a little quick blah tip.